check out this new workflow I have for you today. With this, you can just send a request on Telegram to your own bot and it will write a blog article for you, post it to your WordPress site, generate an AI image, attach it to your blog and send you back the link. It's all automated. You don't need to do anything other than give it a topic. It takes care of all the rest. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works, where to download it and also how to build it yourself from scratch. Let's go. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you how this works and go step by step to show you how this works. And then we're going to look at an actual run through the whole process um, to show you the generation of our blog article image and so on. Now, this particular video has the first part of the tutorial. So as you can see at the top here, we have two sections the top part and the bottom part. The top part is about creating the blog article, so the text. The bottom part is about generating an image with Stability AI. Now, I've left this for a second part because Stability AI um, is a paid service, so it costs a little bit. It's not too much, it's actually very little, but it does cost something extra. If you want the complete tutorial, so not just the first part, but the entire workflow, go check out the community over at school.com forward slash bot tribe. You can download there the entire workflow and also see how it's built. But in any case, first of all, let's go through it step by step and see how it works. So first of all, we have a Telegram trigger. Of course, that's how we start the workflow. We call a message and then start the trigger here. Then we have create the query. The query writer is basically an AI that takes the user request, the user message and converts that into two to four words for a Google search query. Then we perform the Google search. And from the results that we get, we write a blog article. So we have the blog writer here. And this one gives us a structured output, which is going to be title and blog content. So with that, we have everything we need to actually post the blog post. So we have a WordPress that creates our blog post. And then of course, we let the user know that the article has been created. We also give them a link to the article, but of course the link is pretty static. So the user already knows where to find it, but it's just a convenience. Then we move on to generating the image. So this AI agent will create a prompt based on the blog post to create a prompt for the image generation. With that, we go to Stability AI, which generates the image for us in binary data. That gives us the file which we upload to WordPress and we connect that image to the blog article. And that's basically it. We send a final message to Telegram. So let me show you how this actually works. So I have here my Telegram and you can see that I have already uh, created some articles. The last one is the one about fireworks and it's the blog post that I have here. So if I want to say write an article about skiing and I hit enter and after a bit of wait, we get the actual article and the image completed. So let me just refresh my WordPress site and we get embracing the slopes with an image that was generated by AI. So you can see that the process is very, very automated. I have a telegram trigger, but of course you can run this periodically if you just provide some standard uh, prompt input, whatever you like, right? Telegram trigger because it's um, better. It's nicer to interact with. All right, so let's go through it step by step and let me show you how to actually start from a complete new workflow and show you how to actually build this step by step, right? So the first thing we need is a WordPress instance. You might already have that. You might want to just create one from WordPress for free. Either way, it's perfectly fine. You just need to have a uh, access to the dashboard. So here I have the dashboard. I have a user that is administrator. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to users and profile and scroll down below where it says application passwords and create a new application. So here I'm going to say NA10 WordPress. And then you get an application password, which you need to copy. So if we go back to NA10, let's go ahead and create credential and we're going to search for WordPress API. Okay. Continue. We have username and that for me is going to be Catalin and paste the password. And then of course I'm going to need the URL for my site. So it's going to be this save. 
and then connection tested successfully. So that's fine. All right, so it's called WordPress account two because I already have one, but let me call this YouTube WordPress bot, something like that. All right, so that's all good. Now, in order to do this via Telegram, we need to go to Botfather and create a new bot. So let's go to telegram.me forward slash Botfather. And here I have a bunch of bots. You can just type forward slash start for all the commands. But what we're looking for is the new bot. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give it a name. So let's call it something like WordPress blog writer bot. And then we need to give it an ID that ends in bot and is unique. So something like WordPress blog writer bot seems to be available. So that should be fine. And we need to use this token. Just click to copy and let's go back to our credentials. And then I'm going to create a new credential and I'm going to call this Telegram. And then we have the access token. And then let's call this Telegram WordPress post bot and then save. All right, test, connection tested successfully. So let's go again in Telegram and try this out. So if we click on the bot here, we can just hit start and that starts our bot. So we will come back to this in a second, but now we have our credentials. So let's go to our workflow and then create a new workflow. Okay, so here we need to create a trigger for our Telegram. And we need to select on message. Select the right credential. So we have WordPress post bot. And if we execute this step, we will receive the forward slash start message that we got here. So let me just increase this a little bit. Hopefully that's easier for you to see. All right. So we have our um, first message that received the input. Now here we need an AI and specifically an AI agent to actually um, do the query. So we need a chat model. Let's go down to open AI. You can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to choose here 4.40. Okay, of course you need credentials for open AI. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you already have it. If not, go to platform.openai.com and just create an uh, an account there. Okay, so for the AI agent, let's add a system message. And this one says something like this. So let me just increase this a little bit. So take the user's message, distill it into one to five words, output the words separated by plus signs and nothing else, and so on. So we give it some information. And here, instead of connected chat trigger node, we're going to define below, we're going to move to expression and open this up. And we need to get the user message, which is going to be the text. So let's click and drag it here. And that's basically all there is to it. Let's save and let's execute a workflow here. Let's say crocodile. Okay. So the agent is working and it has output a single word because the query from the user, the message that we sent is very, very simple. So we have crocodile. Next up, we need to create the Google request. So here we're going to add an HTTP request. Okay. The method is get the URL is going to be custom search V1. You can find this link down in the description. The authentication is none. Now, in order to make the Google search query work, we need a couple of credentials from Google as well. So we need an API key and a search engine ID. So in order to get those, we need to go to console.cloud.google.com. Okay, so you need an account with Google Cloud. You might already have that if you've used NA10 before. If not, just go ahead and create an account and create a uh, project there that you can work with. I have my NA10 work project here. And then once you are there, I'm going to give you this link in the description. You can go to credentials. Okay. And here you're going to create an API key. Okay. So you have up here, create credential API key. Once you have that, you have the key. Now you need to go and create a search engine. So for the search engine, you need to go to this link programmable search engine.google.com. Uh, where we create a new one and you create your search engine name and so on. You fill out this form, it creates an engine for you and you can just copy the ID and you have it there. Okay, so very, very simple, very basic. 
I'm assuming you already have this if you've used NA10 before. If not, check out the links down in the description. They are um, all there for you to create accounts. All right, so once you have those two, we need to add them as query parameters. So we're going to add first the API key with the parameter name key and paste it here. And we're going to add a parameter down below. The parameter name is CX and the value is going to be your search engine ID value. In addition, we want another parameter, which is Q, which is going to be the query. And we're going to click and drag the output here, which in our case is crocodile, but in other situations, but it might be more than one word. All right, so we have those parameters and that's basically all there is to it. So let's try and execute the step. Once you have those uh, information here, you can see that we get the actual result from Google search. All right, so HTTP request is done. Let's move on. And then we're going to add the actual blog writer. So let me go to AI agent, add an AI agent here. I'm going to call this blog, blog writer. All right, let's add a system message. And here, let me move to expressions to expand that. And then we have um, the information here. So you are a master blog writer, user input is a web search of news articles and so on. We have our user query. Now here we have uh, the actual telegram trigger, which you can find by yourself. If you are looking for it, you can find it here. So just click and drag that. And that's basically it. Take an article and write a blog post about it, make it interesting and engaging, create an interesting and engaging title. Okay, so we have that information now here for defined below for the source of prompt. We will pass from HTTP request, let's scroll down a bit, and we have the items that were returned by the Google search. So let's click and drag that. And I think that's pretty much all we need to do here. Now, of course, we need to add a chat model. So let's add a go scroll down open ai i'm going to select the gpt40 okay and in addition to that for this blog writer i'm going to add uh, let's scroll down inside here and say require specific output format that will give us access to this output parser click on that and then we're going to go with an structured output parser and here we're just going to require two elements, title and content. So uh, blog title and blog content. Okay, so that's basically it for the blog writer. Let's go ahead and run it and see if we get the correct output, if we get a blog written for us. All right, so there we go. We have the content and the title. All right, so that's pretty good. Now the final step is we're going to add a WordPress node. And here we're going to have create a post. So let's connect our credential YouTube WordPress blog, a bot, or however you call those credentials. We're going to have resource post operation create. We have the title, click and drag the title, and then we're going to add a field content. And of course, click and drag content. And that's basically all there is to it. So let's execute this step as well. And if everyone, everything was correctly configured, you should get the output here. Now, if we go to our WordPress and then refresh that, the article was actually actually created. So if I go to all posts, you will see that it is there, but it's actually in draft. So you can see that it's in draft here. Let me just update this and add a field called status. And here we're going to make this publish and then execute the step again. And now it should publish the article and actually show up here. There we go. So we have the article. Now all that's left for us to do is to actually reply to the uh, telegram message. So let's have a telegram node here, send the message. select your correct credentials, send the message. And with the chat ID for that, we need to find it here under the telegram trigger. We have the under chat, we have the ID. Now for the text, we can go to some expression. 
So here I have something like this article generated. I have the title for the blog, which is from here, the blog writer title. And here we have the URL for the actual blog where it is rendered. So under WordPress rendered, that's the article for the, um, the link for the article. Okay. So that's all there is to it. Let me just see if we need anything else. Just one thing I usually do. I remove the NA10 attribution. I don't really like that. So if we execute the step and then go back to telegram, we can see the reply here. If we click on that link, we should be taken to the actual article to see the publication. Okay. So that's pretty good. We're going to end here with this video. If you want to check out the second part of this tutorial, do check out the community over at school.com forward slash bot tribe, and you can download the workflow from there and you can see how we do the second part of this tutorial of this publication, where we actually um, create an image also for this uh, blog post. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.